Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 45, and this is war number two. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Legio Rata. I don't know what I said, but let's take a look, see who they've banned. Okay. Interesting. So they've banned Void, they've banned Silk, and Stealth Spidey. We've got Hulk and Titania already banned, so we do have some champs that uh, we might be able to bring in if we need to. Spider-Man 2099, for that matter. All right, let's uh, spectate a little bit. I take path three, sections one and two. Okay, so we've got... Hmm... We've got Wiccan, and he is a global defender. He does not get armor ups, as far as I know. So he... Let's see, just making sure. Okay, so... As long as he doesn't get armor ups, he is not benefiting from this node so i can just bring in someone uh, a decay attacker to take him down so i just need someone not a cosmic who is a decay attacker to take him down so i guess spider-man 2099 could do it um but i have options here so um, I think I would like somebody that is, uh, incinerate immune perhaps, but I'll look over, I'll do a filter, see what, um, decay attackers I have and which one's appropriate. Now this guy here, I'm bringing gallon, not even playing around, just going to bring gallon and then whatever shenanigans happen, then we'll see. But that's a gallon fight. All right, now these two uh, should be a Corvus fight. But we don't know how it'll go. But I will bring Corvus for that path. And if I can find someone that can do both of these, which, you know, normally I would do Hulkling, but then you have that Wiccan. So this one's a little tricky. Um, Corvus cannot do that uh, Nimrod. So they did not uh, block Hercules. But Hercules would not be good. Definitely not against Wiccan, but not against that Nimrod either. So... It'll be Gallon and somebody to handle Wiccan. And then we will see here, just looking over. And honestly, I am not sure with Corvus, I might be able to take... Um, which, who they got there? Incinerate Poison, no. Okay, Incinerate and Shock. No. Shock and Bleed. Corvus could do that. However, it is Doom. See the next debuff. Ugh. Yeah. Depending on who I bring in uh, for that um, Wiccan, I'll see who I might be able to take, if anyone, uh, on here. Let me see. Seven Flow Knockdown. Yeah, I might be able to... 
Yeah, I might be able to do this with whoever I bring in for Wiccan. Because there'll be a, an attacker. I know. Hit monkey. I would be careful. But, you know, I would just have to keep from pushing him to a special uh, two. But yeah, Hit Monkey could do that. And he could. I think he should be able to handle Wiccan as well. So we'll see. Right now, I'm thinking um, Hit Monkey. Corvus and Gallon. However, uh, I may switch. I, we'll we'll see. We'll see because I could also do that node with Hulkling. And if I did this node with Hulkling, Hulkling could then also do some of the other fights. Corvus could possibly do this fight as well. Yeah. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. So we're going in with Hulkling, Hit Monkey, and Corvus. And I've got the fights planned out. So we're going to see how we do. Now, this first fight is against Wiccan. One of the things that I'm always doing until it was beaten into me, I would always go up against Wiccan with a Cosmic. Don't ask me why. The worst thing I could possibly do, but that's what I would do. And then I'd be surprised when I got wiped. So I'm like, okay, no more of that. No more uh, Cosmics uh, fighting Wiccan. And if you saw... We have a global defender. So that means if we want to have a better time of things, we need to go in there with a decay attacker. Hit monkey is a decay attacker. So I'm not anticipating any problems with this particular fight here. Okay, so we're doing a medium light. Back it off. Medium light, medium. Got rid of all of my debuffs. And now we're just chewing him up. Pretty uh, simple fight. Easy to evade his uh, special, just distance it. I'm trying to get him away from that corner because they like to have some shenanigans going on. And uh, I would rather him come off that corner. Uh, but anyway, Hit Monkey, toy him up. That's what Hit Monkey do. If you guys have seen me use Hit Monkey in Battlegrounds, you already know. Now, now we've got Nimrod. So, Nimrod on this node, not a good one for Corvus. And I think we saw that last season. Corvus can do an armor break, but that doesn't do anything for Nimrod. So, I brought in Hulkling. For this Nimrod. No more traps. Okay. Now, Hulkling, I don't have to worry about um, the uh, power drain. Look at that damage. This is a rank four Hulkling, uh, by the way, not even a rank five. And I was very close to taking him to rank five over Hercules. Then they had the Ascension system come in. And I was like, you know what? Um, with the seven stars, we know they're not going to bring Hercules back anytime soon. So, Hulkling, we may or may not see him. So, I chose Hercules. But Hulkling, very good, very good option. Now, if you'll see here, while Hulkling is immune to the power drain, he's not immune to power lock. So as you see, what I did right there, I waited out the power lock so that I could fire off my special uh, too. 
And I remember the first time I went in here with him, I forgot that he was immune to, I mean, he wasn't immune to power lock. And so I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? Why can't I do my special? That's why. All right, ooh, unblockable. No problem, evaded it. All right, and I got tired of waiting for him. Uh, so I just went in, bam, finished him off. Hulkling is a beast. He will most likely go to rank five soon, but I'm kind of focusing on the uh, seven stars right now, especially since they have the new title, um, new progression title, Valiant, uh, is there. But anyway, we got through that path much better than the last uh, war. That last war was, was rough, okay? But we've already done better than we did there. Now, this fight here, easily doable with Corvus, okay? But you have to fight a certain way. All right, so you see I'm, I'm getting the armor breaks and I'm doing a medium light medium, all right? Except when I'm hitting into a block. Since I can do crits into the block, you know, I'll just smash in there, but I do not do, of course, a full five hit combo. All right, so you can see the armor breaks and I'm doing medium light medium. So something to understand with Corvus's um, rotations. He has a few rotations, okay? Um, just look at that. Medium light medium is a rotation for a relatively short fight. Like, you see how this one here, that would have been okay. But you'll notice that he now has a regen. This makes the fight longer. Okay, so you see I'm hitting into the block trying to get more damage in, all right? And then I'm hitting him with my special, trying to do everything I can, okay? Before my, um, before my uh, uh, charges ran out. But they did. And now, oof, all she wrote. So, let me explain what I did wrong there. So, because he, of course, it's a high-ranking Doom, and because he gets a regen at the end, you have to treat this fight as a longer fight. You can't try to get it done quickly, like I was trying to do. Medium light medium works for really shorter fights and, and you know, that sort of thing. Smaller health pools. But a rank five infamous Iron Man who will get a regen at the end, what you really need to do is a medium light. That's what you need to do. So for longer fights, Corvus, you want to do medium light, back off. Parry, medium light, back off. Okay? The medium is going to use up a charge. The light will not. So you're getting your damage in, but you're kind of conserving your charges. And by doing that, you're going to be able to get in probably two special twos. So that is what you want to do there. Once my charges were down, my immortality was gone. And all of my immunities, you know how I don't take damage from bleed and all that good stuff? All of that is gone once those charges are gone. So as soon as I ran out of charges, I was susceptible to everything. And there was just no way. I could have danced around until it came back, but I just played that one wrong. You have to play it. And I wasn't ramped up either. So you really have to play that one a long one. All right, now here we go. Now, see, this fight, you can do a medium light medium. Look at that. Nice, smooth, and easy. See, that type of fight, very, very easy to do your medium light medium. You could even do a full five combo because you get those armor breaks in the beginning. He's really good against her, okay? But you have to be careful, if especially like me, if you don't know how to evade her special one so easily all right now we got through with one death so far still better than the last um last war 
but not as good as uh, I would like. So now we're fighting long shot. I do not like fighting long shot. One of the things that I have to do, if, especially if I don't have a uh, immune, incinerate immune champion, you have to keep him to a special one, okay? But look at this. I'm sitting here right now trying to figure out what is going on. Why is he unstoppable? All right. So let me explain. It is the global. So even though Hitmonkey is a decay attacker, all right, there is still a chance on every D, or rather every buff that expires, they will go unstoppable. That includes the, when you deck, see, look at me. I'm sitting there like, what is going on? I'm reading this and I'm like, what is happening here? Why am I dealing with this unstoppable? Read that sugar pill. I didn't read it right then so quickly. Boom. But that sugar pill is why he was constantly going unstoppable. Okay? And you will see that I get it after a little bit. And you'll see that I start fighting a little bit differently. Okay, so now I go in with Corvus again, still not sure, but look at this. I'm like, what in the heck? Because of course Corvus is not uh, a DK, so he's getting those placebo buffs. Every time one of those expire, he's going unstoppable. That's why you do not want to fight a global attacker with somebody that gains buffs. Or... You better be very careful, you know? And I, at this point, I'm like, okay, we had already lost this war, by the way. And I'll show you um, our score before, you know, the video is out. But that's why I'm doing this. You'll notice I'm not really boosting up real hard or anything like that. I'm just going in because we already know we lost the war. But... I still wanted to figure this out, you know? I'm like, man, am I gonna be able to get this guy down, you know? Especially with the, uh, look at this, he's got me in the corner. You know I don't like fighting over here. You know that's not my style. And then he got a special three. I'm just like, what is going on? Slipped and hurt my back, my neck, my back and my neck, you know? And so I'm like, okay. This is messed up. How did I go this long without understanding that aspect of the global? I don't know. Okay? Don't know. So I'm, uh, you know, going ahead and uh, reviving again. You know, we're a cheap revive, so we're all good. Like I said, we already know we lost, so uh, just need to get him down for the points. All right? See, he went unstoppable. And I'm like, hmm, okay, I think I get it now. So I knock him down, try not to dex, okay. Yep, messed up right there. And a buff expired and he went unstoppable. But I was like, I think I got it though. It's really hard to fight my uh, urges, but you'll notice that I'm reviving him. I'm not even using the other one because I'm like, I think, I think I have this. You know, he did the best anyway, and we know we're gonna get him down with him. So now I'm like, okay, ba ba ba, get him down. Okay, get the protection off. All right, here we go. Boom boom. All right. No decks. All right. Good good. All right. Here we go. Uh huh. See, and now I understand. Now I get it. So, you know, I kind of, by reflex, dex there. But you'll notice that I'm parrying, and I'm not really trying to dex. I was like, parry, hit, parry, hit, so that I was avoiding the dex. And when I did move back, I tried to do an early move back so it didn't trigger 
dexterity because dexterity of course triggers that precision buff and when it expires that's how he gets his unstoppables so finally figured it out in the end but uh let me see towards the end i think i showed um the final uh score I'm not sure if i did or not already but all right We'll be back and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back and as we already knew, we lost this war. But check this out. And I know I showed it before in the video. I just missed it when I was uh, running my mouth. But look at the defender kills. 87. Now you guys already know we don't have that many especially in a season but we knew earlier on that the war was already lost and so people were no longer trying to you know boost up heal up uh or anything like that they were just getting their fights down so that we could still get our points but anyway that is going to do it for this war thank you all for watching take care hit the like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know what you thought. Were you surprised about the sugar pill? Probably not, because you guys probably read it carefully, unlike I did. Anyway, you all have a blessed day.